Welcome back to Warped Perception. This episode is taking me back at least a couple of years to a video that I did of April drinking water in slow motion. The other day I was thinking about that video while watching April participate in one of her favorite activities, which is retrieving items from underwater. She actually goes all the way underwater, gets the item, the ball or whatever you threw, brings it back up and brings it to shore. It's pretty impressive. But I always wondered how she was able to find the item once she gets underwater. Is she using her sense of touch, her sense of smell, her whiskers, her eyes? Are her eyes opened or closed? These are things that I always wondered. Let's see, can I do it? Whoa! Good job, April! I thought it would be a great idea to set that up and film it in slow motion to answer some of those questions, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. For this first setup, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna use this 20 gallon aquarium, fill it with water, and that's gonna be enough to get her whole head inside, which I think is the most important because that's where all of her senses are that she uses to find the ball underwater. I'm gonna fill this up, let's do it. Okay, the aquarium's full. This is about 12 inches deep, so I think it's good enough. I left it about an inch from the top. I got the ball right here. This is the ball that I'm gonna use. April's ready. You ready, April? Let's do it. This is gonna be test number one. I'm just gonna drop the ball in the aquarium and uh, see what April looks like. Fetching a ball underwater in 4K slow motion. Good girl! That was pretty cool. You can see in the high speed footage how she just held her breath and went completely under the water to get the ball. And uh, I don't know if she used her whiskers or what to find the ball. I think that she cheated a little bit and she just did it visually. She remembered where the ball was from seeing it from the top of the water. She's already over there taking a break. But I'm gonna set this up again. This time I wanna to try to get her to come in from the side so we can see a side profile as to what she's doing. And then I'm gonna move on to one more setup I have in mind. Ready, April, ready, ready? Go get it. Oh, that was good, that was good. That was awesome, April, good job. You're gonna get some extra bones for that one. Good job, that was awesome. Let's take a look at that footage. This is my last and final setup. We got the glass table in place. I'm gonna put the aquarium right here, fill it up with water. Get a camera underneath, and I'm gonna have April jump up on top of this table, go in the tank, get the ball, and film it with the high-speed camera. That's the idea. And I wanna see if we can get an angle where we can see her like coming at the camera so we can see kind of inside of her mouth. Uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. You ready, April? Ready, go, ahead. go. Go, get it, April, get it, get it. Oh, she did it.
That looked pretty cool. That last shot was a little bit fogged up, but I just shot it that way anyway because I couldn't move this into another production day. That's what it looks like for April to fetch a toy underwater in slow motion. And tell me what you think. Share your opinion. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's about it. I don't have anything else to say. I have to go remove a swarm of bees from my neighbor's tree right now. So uh, yeah, I gotta go. I'll see you next time.